is a quick demo on how to use the paediatric air track. So the first thing you need to do is select your size. So the air track come in a range of sizes, um, size depending on which endotracheal tube you want to use. So the smallest is the grey, which is for a size 2.5 to 3.5 endotracheal tube. The purple from a size 4 to a 5.5. There's a green from a 6 to a 7.5. And, and there's also a blue, which is from a size 7 to 8.5, which I don't have. They also offer a nasotracheal version, which is sized only for adults, and also a double lumen tube version, which again I don't have. So we've got the neonatal mannequin, so this is the one I'm going to work on. So the first thing you need to do is switch the air track on. So it's done by pressing this button here, and when you press this you'll notice the light on the bottom turns on. So the light flashes initially when you turn it on, and that's just saying that the air track is warming up. So you shouldn't use it until the light stops flashing. Next thing you need to do is to load the endotracheal tube into the air track. You just load it into the side here and leave it so the tip isn't sticking out the end. You've got a number of viewing options um, when using the air track. It comes with an eyepiece, so you can look directly down the eyepiece, I'll see what this looks like. Um, obviously with this you have to lean over the patient, so I, I much prefer to use one of the other solutions that AirTrack offers. So all the eyepieces you can um, clip your normal endoscopy camera on, so you can have it displayed on the large screen. And AirTrack also offer um, two custom viewing solutions. So the eyepieces pop off, and then you can put on either a smartphone adapter. So the smartphone adapter clips on. Your normal smartphone just clips into the adapter and we turn it on. They have an app that lets you view footage on the screen. So let's see, I'll show you how that works. And you get quite a good view. Just adjust the focus. And then we can do the intubation. The other option they have is they have their own Wi-Fi camera. So again, this just pops off. And the camera goes on. If you want to use the paediatric mode, um, which you should do if you're using one of the grey or purple air tracks, just press the paediatric mode to turn the camera on. The other nice thing you can do with this is you can actually um, mirror the screen using Wi-Fi. So we turn the Wi-Fi on. Select the AirTrack Wi-Fi network and then go back to the AirTrack app. What we should find is that the screen, when we go into the live view camera, is mirrored onto the iPad. Again, I forgot to start the paediatric mode. And again, if you do this, you'll have a very bright screen. So press the paediatric mode, we'll get the screen back to a good view. So out of your viewing options, certainly I think the iPhone camera gives a much better resolution than any of the other solutions. Although the Wi-Fi camera is nice to have it mirrored on a big screen, and it's also very light. Um, that it's well balanced for using. So I'm going to show you now the technique that you want to use when you're using the air track. So how do we do the intubation? So what you want to do is to insert the air track in midline and over the top of the tongue. So I find it best to have it sort of horizontal, drop it into the patient's mouth and then start angling it round the corner. You want to have the um, airway centred in the middle of the screen, but also in the top half of the screen. What you can do to check you're appropriately aligned is to advance the endotracheal tube very slightly. So you can see the direction when you advance it out of the channel 
that it's going to appear on. If you need to adjust up and down, you need to do this with your left hand. So if I lower the air track down here, when I advance the tube, it's going to go down. If I advance the air track up, and I push the tube, it's going to be up, why, up the way. To go left and right, you would think that the best way to do that is actually to twist the air track in the channel, but it's not. Um, what you need to do is, if you want to go to the left, you need to make an anti-clockwise rotation at the top of the tube as you advance it, and the air track will go over to the left. If you want to go right, it's a clockwise rotation and advance. So it's this and this. Move the air track up and down is using the air track itself. So I'll show you that in real time. So it's the air track into the middle of the mouth, making sure I'm nice and far back so that the view is only in the top half of the screen. And then advance the channel. Make any adjustments you need to. So I'm going to go slightly over to the left and then rotate into the right, bringing it into the airway. Once you've done the intubation, you want to pull the tube out of the channel to the side, hold it at the side, and remove it from the mouth. What are some of the common mistakes people make when using this? I think the most common is to be in too close. So I go right the way in and get an excellent view of the airway. The problem with this is that as you advance the air track, although I've done it okay this time, it quite often catches on the cartilages and you, you don't have time to make these movements that I've been talking about, the up and down and right and left. Whereas if I drop slightly back, I'm a bit further away, I've got much more time to make adjustments that I need to make to get the air track into the airway. One of the big problems I've had in particularly small children's where you've got the bulky arotenoids is that the tube tends to catch on the right arotenoid. The, the main way to avoid this, I think, is probably to lay for the left side of the airway. So what I would recommend you do, as you're advancing the tube, initially make an anti-clockwise movement. So the tube goes over to the left initially. Once you've got past the right arotenoid, make a clockwise movement into the airway. So this video has demonstrated the standard technique for using the paediatric air track. I have developed a novel method um, for using the paediatric air track with a stylet and inserting the stylet only into the bottom of the channel and I find this particularly helpful in smaller patients. So I have made a separate video demonstrating this technique so it is worth checking out.